you do see people getting hot and cold, and then they sort of fluctuate their usage based off of that. Uh, Eric saying, honestly, she'll benefit better in WWE. WWE does a little bit better with the language barrier. I've got to strongly disagree with that one. I am with you, James. It, it took way too long for them to figure out how to make Asuka work or Shinsuke work. Uh, and AEW has always highlighted their foreign talent, whether it's from Mexico, whether it's from Japan, or whether it's those indecipherable Brits. Uh, bro. They, <laughs> bro, um, they, they've always treated the foreign talent well and never made them feel like the foreign talent. So yeah. I gotta, that's the one I got to disagree with you on. Especially uh, too, because I feel like a lot of times in WWE, what you end up having is non-native speakers being forced to do promos in English outside of maybe Asuka. Like, with Asuka, she just kind of yelled and you just kind of were like, okay, exactly. I get what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you would just end up getting shitty promos in a second language. Whereas in AEW, most of the time, people are doing uh, promos in their first language and it sounds way better. And we just, you know, there are subtitles. God forbid, <laughs> you know, most people watch movies and TV with the fucking closed captions on anyway. So I'm completely fine with them. Uh, you know, I, I think, sorry, I think AEW does the uh, language barrier stuff uh, better. You know, they whether it's a manager or letting them do their own stuff. 